Hey guys, welcome back again to the second part of the video, Human Anatomy. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about movement terms, which I seem to hear a lot in most fitness videos. You know, from our famous YouTubers out there, Athenax, Jeff Nipper, you know, they talk about some movement terminologies, which I'm going to go over just the basic. Okay, I'm not going to go too much in details here. I did that before and it was terrible. So, this is just basics. Let's begin here with the first movement, which is very common flexion and extension okay so flexion just the way it sounds you're flexing your muscles right you're bringing it towards you flexing extending you're bringing it back to its original position right to a straight 180 degree uh same for your abs your, ab your abdomen and your, your, your torso and your hips right you're contracting when you contract your abs you are flexing when you're bringing it back to its original position to a straight line that's extending same for your wrist flexing extending flexing extending same with your toes flexing extending you know yeah that's pretty much flexing and extending um next stop is the second movement which is very common abduction and adduction so abduction is kidnapping a body part away from the midnight the midline of your body basically so abducting is taking your body part away from the midline okay so it's just the way it sounds kidnapping taking it away adducting is bringing it back after you paid the ransom for the criminal offense <laughs> you get your stuff back, you get your um, whatever back, okay? So that's adducting. For example, lateral raises, when you abduct, you take it away, adduct, you bring it back to the midline. So you can abduct your legs too. You can take it away from the body, you can bring it back to the body, okay? So abducting, adducting, same with the wrist, abduct, adduct, okay? Uh, you can do that with your toes. I don't know how to do it without touching it, but you can. Some people are able to do it. You can see where they just separate their toes, they abduct it, and then bring it back together. That's adduction. Okay. Now let's move on to the next one, which we're gonna talk about here. It is rotation. Okay. So just any movement that involves rotating the joints, or you can rotate your shoulders by doing this by moving your arm so internally rotating your arm you're rotating your shoulder by doing this internal rotation external rotation same applies to your legs okay you can internally rotate it and externally rotate it okay yeah i hope i hope that makes sense okay, now let's talk about circumduction this is where we start going getting a bit technical here you you might not hear these terms a lot so circumduction is more of this motion where your um the joint is just revolve um, moving around in like a circular way like conical shape so you form it like a cone you can do that with your neck okay that's second action you can do it with your fingers as long as it's basically you're moving your arm in four in four places in four movements okay or you're moving your body part that you're moving in four directions so you're basically flexing it and then you abduct it and then you extend it and then you bring it back okay that's ex uh that's pretty much it all right let's talk about hyperextension now um it's pretty much moving the body part past the midline okay if i flex my wrist bring it this way that's flexing right extending it this is extending then hyper extending it is moving it past the line okay that's why there's a, a, a back exercise called hyper extension because when you do that you're taking it past the, the, the midline past the line the straight line that your body makes when you stand horizontally right so hyper extension can also involves your neck right look at this flex extend hyper extension take it past the line. all right um 
that's that's pretty much for hyper extension okay let's move on to the next one which is called protraction and retraction if you do chest flies a lot you're protracting okay so you're protracting and retracting and it involves your scapula which is your shoulder blades and you're basically doing this and you're doing that okay simple as that now let's talk about elevation and depression this involves your shoulder blades as well and also your clavicle your collarbone is also involved so everything involved um just your shoulder in general is involved here when you elevate you raise your shoulder this way and when you depress it you bring it down so elevation and depression also with your mouth you can you can elevate and you can depress it so elevate it and press it bring it back and then let's talk about the wrist we have something called uh, what is it called again um, come on come on come on come on come on brain work brain work now my brain worked all right so um involving the wrist there are two motions this and this it's also called abduction and adduction but the technical term is radial deviation and ulnar deviation so your radius is called radial deviation because there are two bones that make up the forearm there's the radius and there's the ulnar so the radius is on the thumb side you know where your thumb is this is your thumb and then the ulnar on the medial side so this is your medial side and this is your lateral side medial side means it's towards your midline Lateral side means it's away from the midline. So the midline is, you know, if you remember the first video, midline is the line that divides your body, okay? So I hope we understand that. So on a radial division is towards the radius. So this, if you, this is radial division. This is on a deviation, okay? So or in other words, this abduction, adduction, okay? Now that's involving the wrist. Now there's a motion you make with your feet as well. When you just think about the calf raise, when you do the calf raises, um, you're doing the dorsal flexion and you're doing the plantar flexion. So you can also, when you tiptoe, you're coming back from uh, uh, your parents say, come back by before 10 and then you come back home by 12 again. You know, you're gonna tiptoe, right? So you're plantar flexing when you tiptoe, okay? And then dorsal flexion so plantar dorsal flexion okay those are two motions we make with our ankle joints okay yeah i believe i've covered almost everything here oh yeah the last one that i forgot to mention is one of the most common ones pronation and supination so pronation involves rotating kind of like rotating but you're not really rotating the only thing that's going on here is when you pronate, you're kind of like turning your wrist um, facing downwards, your um, your palm, I mean, your palm facing downwards. That's pronation. And what happens there is your radius is just moving around. That's basically what happens, okay? So your radius is moving. And when you pronate, you can pronate without even, you can also pronate your shoulders, right? You can sorry you can rotate your shoulders but that's not really pronate pronate just involves the radius and uh, the distal end of your radius with your with the humerus with the bone okay with your arm um so yeah pronation supination this a good way to remember it pronation when you want to pick up something you pronate, you can pick it up, you prone, I'm picking up a product, so pro product, I'm pronating the product, I'm picking up the product. Supinating is like, give me soup, give me superman toy, give me supplement, whatever. So, pronation, give it to me, give me my soup, my <laughs> So yeah, that's supination right there, pronation right there, okay? But it's not involving your shoulder, you're not doing this. All right, this pronation, just that. You see that? My shoulder is not moving. That's pronation, supination. Okay, guys, that's it. That's the last one, I promise. There is no other one. I mean, there's more, but you don't really need to know those other ones. Okay, I guess we've covered everything now, guys. I know I rushed it here because I don't want to make this video boring. 
because this might this kind of like a boring topic but it just i just hope you you gain the basic understanding of what these terminologies mean so when you hear your famous youtubers like um chloe thing you i don't know if you ever hear her say stuff like that but um at linux if you jeff cavalier if you ever hear him saying stuff like when you abduct and when you adopt you understand that right so thank you so much for watching this video i hope it was short it better be so yeah <laughs> thank you so much for watching if you um loved it if you learned something from it please do not be stingy just hit that like button okay okay contract and flex that muscle and hit the like button and uh, let me know what you learned today okay and also let me know what you want to see or what you want to um, watch um, what what video you want to see next time so i'm always happy to do, make videos like that but anything involving working out for now i'm not gonna make a video where i'm working out yet okay still in a recovery phase depending on the time and date you're watching this video so um Thank you so much for watching, I appreciate it. I'll see you guys in my next video. And before you click out, please like and subscribe and comment. Thank you, gracias. Bye. Oh, kidoki.